So uh, let's start with this first movement here. And PDQ Bach, the, according to my research, uh, was a child Bach. of Johann Sebastian Bach, given birth to by Anna Magdalena Bach, and that there's no way the Bach family can get out of that. I mean, they've been burning PDQ manuscripts for years. They've been doing everything they could to make it seem as if he didn't exist, or if so, he had nothing to do with the Bach family. Well, bullpucky, I say. He was a true member of the Bach family, and it just shows that even somebody who has brought as much perfection into the world as Johann Sebastian Bach, uh, even somebody like that can slip up. P.D.Q. Bach has been called a pimple on the face of music. Well, the three basic periods of P.D.Q. Bach's creative life were the initial plunge, which he spent in Vienna, learning the basic rules of musical composition. Then came the soused or brown bag period, by far the longest period of his life, which he spent in Wein am Rhein, forgetting the basic rules of musical composition. And then the last period, a contrition, which he spent in the charming southern German town of Baden, 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 trying to work off a monumental hangover, which the recent discovery of his skull indicates he may still have, using the very sophisticated alcohol dating technique. It has been estimated that PDQ's last hangover has a half-life of about 245 years. Very touching. Yeah, I could hardly hear you playing. That was great. PDQ Bach, um, I think, was probably the worst plagiarizer in all time. I mean, many 18th century composers occasionally borrowed a theme from one of their peers, but I think that PDQ Bach was the only composer who worked on tracing paper, and it shows up in his works. Okay, this is going to be take seven. And let's, let's go for a, a whole take all the way through. P.D.Q. Bach uh, either invented or was responsible for inventing quite a few instruments. Um, the left-handed sewer flute, um, and then he had the nose flute, which you play by blowing through your nose. And um, then we've got the Oscar Mayer wiener whistle. He wrote for some extremely unusual things, like pasta, for instance. Uh, uh, his his uh, four folk song upsettings uh, has one of the players playing a, a manicotti and uh, then eating it at the end. I mean, that's, it, it, it has a great advantage that way in that the musician can get something to eat right after his exertion in playing the instrument. Um, what are some of the others? There's the double reed slide music stand. For instance, you take one of those wire music stands, you take the music holding part of it off, you turn it upside down, the three legs are up in the air, and, and there's a hole there, and you put a bassoon vocal, that's the curved part, with the reed, you put that in there, and then you use the adjustable part of the music stand uh, like a trombone slide. So uh, it only has a range of about a minor third, but that was about as much as PDQ could handle. 